What's good, Say Cheese TV? This is Levante, CEO of Artist Control Clothing Line, and right now you're on Texas Sneaker Talk. Right now, tune in. I consider myself a true sneakerhead. I think it's a difference now. The term is messed up. I consider myself a true sneakerhead because I don't buy everything that comes out. I gotta like it. I don't care if 20 people have it. If I feel really like it, I'm gonna rock with it. I ain't in the hype, and I'm not finna pay. 300 just say I got it, I can, but I ain't really a hype. So I say I'm a, I go back to the era where we used to ditch in middle school to get the sneakers and go to lunch. Right, so like what's the difference between the sneaker game now and you know, back then, 08, 06, you know? Man, it's it's like hot and cold. Back when I was growing up, you know what I'm saying, living in Indiana, was for close to Chicago. When you got the sneaker, it wasn't an option to resell it. It was you wearing them, you know what I'm saying? You probably wear them until you can't wear them no more. Nowadays, these high schoolers, and I ain't even know, but I'm about to sound old. These kids get the sneakers, and the first thing they do is eBay. You know what I'm saying? They don't even care about Jordan was dunking when he had them. Or Iverson crossed them. It's more like, oh, I'm going to get 350 You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put on eBay immediately. So now it's all about resale. No, they don't even want to wear it no more. You know what I'm saying? Me, I want to wear it. I want you to see, like, yeah, he got that sneaker. He matching it. These kids not being lying, by the size 8, they at 13, just to say they got it. And that's my man's 13 in line, so I don't really rock like that with the new. I think once they took Nelly away, the, it went away and they stopped. You know, I was a big Air Force One collector before Jordan. Me and my boys back home would buy Easter's, Halloween, everything, because it was more limited. Once Air Force One stopped being limited, the market, it just went down, you know what I'm saying? Because it was cheaper and it was more limited, so that worked for us. I remember, you know what I'm saying, spending 120 Every check, that was a flat that was coming through. So now the market is messed up where well, they're not limited, coming out wild colors, they come out every day, so it's not exclusive no more. Whereas Jordan, he might make you wait, he might put a tag on it saying this is limited. He retro on everything I remember growing up with. So Air Force One, they let Nelly leave it alone and they stopped making them limited, man. I used to, I sold a lot of ones. I was a big Oh man. At one point I was three hundred and fifty strong. It was three fifty. I moved down here, sold a lot of Air Force Ones, so I'm in like 150, 200 right now. So like, what was the most you've ever spent on a pair of sneakers? Ah, uh, man. It's on camera too, it's exclusive. <laughs> DJ Clark Kent Air Force One. It was uh, DJ Clark Kent, it had his name, the number, I had number 10 of like 300. I spent like 250, two, 300 on them joint, you know what I'm saying? I still got only one that much. It's a Nike ID Limited, it's got my certificate and everything. That was the most. Nowadays, I got a little smarter. I got a puff couple people take care of me. But the, for that, that was like, I remember I was like, yo, you stupid for this one. But to this day, I know that's a limited, you know what I'm saying, sneaker. I mean, you have the, the clothing line artist control. Right. How does that, you know, coincide with the sneakers? Like, you know, speak on the sneakers. I, I You know, you send me sh uh, pictures and, you know, a lot of the shoes, you get them to especially match, you know, the, the your clothing line and vice versa. Speak on that. Well, I feel like the market now with clothing lines and Jordan shirts, back in the day, a Jordan shirt was no option. You had to buy the shirt to go to Jordan. But I feel like now they're not taking it serious. It's not looking the same. The quality is big. You know, I like it's fitted. Now look at the clothes, it's like a demographic. So I saw the clothing line not only for sneakers, but I came with the concept of artist control. Every day you get dressed, you're an artist, you paint pictures. So. I use it as a, a, a bait for people if they want rocking with me from general to like, okay, you don't like the shirt, we well, gonna like the shoe. So uh, the reason I, I it coincides with it is that the stuff that come out with sneakers now is kind of cliche. Like my sneakers are hot, my clothes are better than yours. I hate that. You can put a, you can paint a picture just saying artist control to say cheese and go with it better, and it look twenty times better than what Jordan getting right now. Cause like for example, I bought the mint greens. And the sh shirt was just a big old jump man with the color, big as hell. And I'm, I made something better with a Richie Rich concept. So the whole thing is, is to just show people it's different options. You don't have to just wear this with it. You can wear this shirt. And it's not just for Jordan, but you can wear this shirt. Better, ma same material, better price and support the movement, you know what I'm saying? So the whole concept with that is that giving them an option for people, sneakerheads and regular day, everyday people, you don't have to just rock. Be the mannequin whore, you know what I'm saying? Go to Foot Lock and buy that whole mannequin and say you killing it. What about this shirt? And it's limited, it's different, and you stand out better. So that's how I came.